Fall's not actually fall unless you've got my favorite Starbucks drink. I'm telling you, you gotta order it this way when you go to Starbucks. Soy latte, two spanks of cinnamon, two spanks of nutmeg, and a dozen spanks of anabolic apple cider donuts. Speaking of which, What's going on party people? Welcome back to another video and another anabolic recipe. Today we're taking on the apple cider donut. Oh my goodness, just making my mouth water. By Cheat Day Design. Now if you haven't seen his Instagram profile, I'll go ahead and link him in the description below, so definitely check him out. He's got a ton of great recipes to try out, especially chocolate chip cookies, apple cider donuts, and so much more. And one of the things I absolutely love about his recipes is that he really tries to come from a very holistic picture in the overall taste and structure when it comes to total calories and the macro breakdown, right? It's a very fine balance between how much protein you can stuff into one dessert or one little treat versus what the actual taste and expectations are behind the flavors that you're gonna get from that meal. But if you're not familiar with the apple cider donut, you're gonna have to go and Google that ASAP. I mean, these are the most hashtag basic form of fall orgasmic treats that you will ever have. Now, most of my viewers know that I'm a California kid at heart, born and raised out there, but I've spent a number of years out in Boston. I was very fortunate enough to be shown a very special place, very dear to my heart, called the Atkins Farms, and they're based out of Massachusetts, so if you're ever out there, go ahead and check them out. Great for apple picking and obviously anything and everything apple related. But this is one of the very first places that I've ever laid eyes or had gotten the taste of apple cider donuts. Insert obnoxious picture. So in honor of hashtag basic season and apple cider donuts, I figure why not give these a shot because hey, who doesn't love some warm, crispy on the outside, moist on the inside, and just pure cinnamon sugary messiness. It's absolutely an undeniable hashtag basic treat. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. Oh wait, hold on, we gotta do this right. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, are you ready? Let's go. So guys, before we get into this recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and post up the recipe and the ingredients list in case you guys wanna reference this after the video. But just as a heads up, you guys might have a difficult time finding some of these ingredients at your local grocery store, such as apple pie spice, or maybe even apple butter. They are a little bit of a specialty type of food or ingredient. So apple butter was actually over at Whole Foods, but they have very limited quantities. I went to three different stores. And for apple pie spice, definitely a little more difficult to come by. I went to five different stores and could not find it whatsoever. So I ended up Googling it and had my own DIY recipe. So we'll get into that in just a second, but let's start off with the ingredients. So in terms of ingredients, first up, you're gonna need 120 grams of an all-purpose flour. Next up, you're gonna use 62 grams of a whey and casein protein mix. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and use a snickerdoodle. The recipe recommends using a vanilla, but this is what we've got on hand, so we'll definitely see how this actually comes out with a full flavor. Next up, we're gonna use 20 grams of a granulated sugar, and just keep in mind that when you guys are looking for granulated sugar, there's also gonna be confectioners, so just make sure to look at top or at the bottom. Then we've got four grams or one teaspoon of a baking powder, and then we'll go ahead and use one teaspoon of an apple pie spice, but in this case, if you don't have apple pie spice, you can go ahead and use the following ingredients in order to create your own apple pie spice. And just remember, the ingredients and the amounts are just subjective and can be used based off of your own taste preferences. And then we're just gonna use a teaspoon of salt. So now that we know what the dry ingredients are, we're gonna go ahead and put all the dry ingredients into one bowl and give it a good mix. And our goal with mixing it up is to prevent any type of clumping that could happen once we start putting in the wet ingredients. So at this point, we've mixed up all of the dry ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and grab another bowl and put all of our wet ingredients into this one. 
So first up in terms of wet ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and use two whole large eggs. Next up, we're gonna use 57 grams of an apple butter. And just as an FYI guys, this is one of the ingredients that for me, I feel like is a specialty type of product. So you'll probably have to find it over at maybe a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's. Next up, you're gonna use 80 grams of an unsweetened applesauce. Next, we'll use 28 grams of a light butter. Then we've got half a teaspoon of a vanilla extract. And then we'll use one teaspoon of a sugar-free syrup. So now that we've got all the wet ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix and mix it in as much as possible. We've got the butter in there. You probably could have melted the butter and then put this into the mixture so that way everything just mixes up really nice and evenly. Oh guys, this is smelling absolutely delicious. It just, it smells like an apple orchard in here. So now that we got everything mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and take our dry mix and the wet ingredients and then mix them all together. This is where we're at right now. We've got the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together. Just giving it a good mix. Just make sure everything is nicely integrated. And it's it's not too liquid of a mixture actually, because in the recipe, it actually states that the batter actually comes out into more of a liquid, but this is the consistency that I'm working with right now. So just as a heads up guys, the instructions actually say to use a silicone spatula. I was getting carried away with mixing up the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients by themselves, so I was using a whisk, but I've transitioned over into using a spatula, and we're just gonna go ahead and finish this off. We're gonna go ahead and grab our donut tray and then hit it with some nonstick spray. And if you guys don't have donut trays, don't worry about it, because this recipe actually allows you to throw them into muffin trays. So feel free to do as you wish, but we're gonna go ahead and throw them into the donut dish. All right, party people, we've got the donuts in the donut tray. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. So we'll see you guys in just a second. So while we're waiting for the donuts to actually cook in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and take our granulated sugar, 50 grams of this, along with a quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, however much cinnamon you like, go ahead and give it a good spank. But we're gonna go ahead and take both of these, give it a good mix, and then use it for the outside crust. And that's gonna give us our cinnamon sugar goodness. Okay, so that's what our mixture is looking like. And this is just gonna really top off the donuts. So let's go ahead and take a look at the donuts since they're out of the oven. Oh guys, these are smelling so good. It is very hard for me to keep my expectations low because being disappointed by apple cider donuts is gonna be super sad. But taking a look just real quick at these donuts, they're looking pretty good. I do have to say they kind of have a, have a rubbery texture, kind of similar to what you would see with just a lot of other general baking type goods when you're dealing with protein. But this is what we're dealing it with right now. They are quite warm, but you can probably tell just the sheen on top hell kind of has that rubbery texture to it. But yeah, I, I do have to say these are pretty dense. It looks like there's quite a bit of moisture in there, so we'll definitely have to take a look at it when we go into the taste test. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Time to get into the categories. You guys know the deal. So I hope that you guys are excited as much as I am to talk about these anabolic apple cider donuts because I am super stoked right now. All right, so you guys know the deal. Three categories, anabolics, taste, and craving. Now, if you guys have not had apple cider donuts, I do not know how to really describe it. They're just absolutely orgasms in your mouth, uh, literally. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about total calories and the macro breakdown. Just something to keep in mind, the recipe actually creates six solid donuts. So now in terms of total calories for one of these apple cider protein donuts, we're looking at a total of 170 total calories. And the macro breakdown is as follows. We've got four grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, and 21 grams of carbs. Now, for those of you who have never had an apple cider donut, they're pretty popular amongst a lot of the Dunkin' Donuts chains. And what you'll see in terms of total calories on average is roughly about 350 to 360 total calories for one donut. 
Now compare that to these, that's a, that's a pretty significant difference. But just in case you guys are interested in picking one up, a lot of the Dunkin' Donuts do have apple cider donuts around this time. Atkins Farms donuts are actually slightly less in calories. So for Atkins, their apple cider donuts, which usually come in a six pack as well, we're looking at a total of 201 calories with a total fat of six grams, total protein of three grams, and a total carb of 33 grams. Now, when I think about the total calorie and macro breakdown of these apple cider donuts, Compared to Atkins as well as Dunkin' Donuts, I'm pretty impressed with the overall breakdown. I mean, in terms of fat, we're looking pretty good compared to the Atkins Farms, which is my personal favorite and just will always be the number one spot for apple cider donuts. Now, when we take a look at protein, each one of these apple cider donuts has 12 grams of protein. When you take a look at Atkins or Dunkin' Donuts where they've got three or four grams of protein respectively, it's not too bad, right? I imagine, you know, most of us would like to see a lot more protein in each one of these donuts, but at the end of the day, in terms of the protein to fat ratio, I think we're holding on pretty strong. But overall, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid seven and a half. And now, the best part, taste. So just as a heads up, guys, if you made it this far into the video, I've gone ahead and linked Cheat Day Design's recipe and ingredient page in the description below. So just make sure to check that out. He does a great write-up on his overall idea and thoughts behind how he was actually building out this recipe because it is a little bit of a balance between actual total flavor and what the overall nutritional profile looks like. And I don't know about you guys, but I really appreciate understanding what the mindset is behind how some of these recipes are created because it gives you a good idea of how you can manipulate it to be your own or whether or not you can just do without it. But otherwise, I wanna bring you guys in for a close up. Take a look at these. So the sugar and the cinnamon topping look on point. I will say the donuts still look a little rubbery and a little bit questionable, but should be interesting to see how the actual taste comes out. However, the donuts are very dense and they are very, very moist. But let's go ahead and try these out. All right, cheers, boys. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. We gotta give this a star. You guys definitely have to try this. This is fire. Holy smokes. I'm going in for another bite. Mm. We gotta do our little happy dance. We found ourselves a, a freaking awesome donut recipe. Oh. Oh, so I don't know if you can see that, but the density is quite there. It really gives you a good bite for your money. And at the same time, what I really love about the flavor of this thing is that a lot of the dessert recipes that we've been dealing with have a very artificial taste to them. And that's, that's to be expected, right? But I will say this one definitely has it to a minimum. So that's what really, really draws me and gives you a ton of flavor in this recipe. I think I just found my favorite recipe so far. So I'm still in shock on these donuts and this recipe as a whole. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid 10. That's, I mean, that's, I'm putting it out there. If you guys try this recipe out for yourselves, let me know what you think. This is absolutely by far one of my favorite recipes. I'm probably gonna whip up another batch after I film this. So. With that being said, I'm gonna try and talk through this as objectively as possible. Now, there are a lot of donuts out there that are airy and very light, and I feel like a lot of those donuts, I can have those to a certain extent and for only certain types of donuts. Uh, for me, I really prefer, I think what most people would say, cakey type of donuts. They're very dense, there's a lot of bite to them. And what I will say is that this donut is like a cakey type of donut. Now, I think these, because they're relatively small, definitely, give you the right portion of bite and just the amount for one donut, right? I think it's enough to really satisfy your craving. I know we'll get into that in just a second, but I'm letting you know right off the bat, this re this review is just straight up, like I'm writing it off as a solid 10 in terms of taste and craving. Now, outside of that, what I will say, as you bite into it, the cinnamon sugar mix really, really helps with the overall flavor. Now, in terms of the donut itself, you can definitely, I think you can really do without the apple pie spice you can just make one at home if you've got the ingredients that along with the apple butter the applesauce along with snickerdoodle pe science whey and casein protein i think really just wraps up the full flavor profile and gives you just i mean it's just the flavor is just really spot on and like this as soon as i took a bite just it took me back to atkins and the donuts that they had so in terms of craving, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a solid 10. I know I said this earlier, but if any of you guys definitely have an itch for donuts in general, 
try this recipe out. This absolutely really hit the spot for me. And for my friends out in Canada and on the East Coast who are just starting to get into the cooler months, pair this up with a solid spiced cider or hey, if you love whiskey, a hot toddy. That's one of my favorites. I know it's not gonna be anabolic, but definitely will put some hair on your chest. So outside of that, try this out. Let me know what you think. And if you didn't like it, let me know why you didn't. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and 100% recommend you guys try this out because this absolutely really hit the spot for me when it came to apple cider donuts. Well guys, we just wrapped up the three categories, anabolic, taste, and craving for a total score of 9.1. But otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some really good insight into some hashtag basic apple cider donuts. And if you're new to the channel, consider smashing that subscribe button. It's always a good time. I'm having a good time and I hope you are. But at the end of the day, if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up. It really helps this channel to grow and really get other folks like yourself in the know on some really awesome recipes. But otherwise, stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Good morning, party people. All right, so just a quick little update. I had the review on these apple cider donuts yesterday, so it is the next morning. So I just wanted to give you a quick little wrap up. Now, if you guys are expecting the cinnamon and sugar messiness to all stay intact and stay super dry, it's not gonna happen. So this is what the donuts actually look like the next morning. So they, they definitely taste great still. I, I just had one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the microwave for a few seconds and they should be as awesome as they were yesterday. If you want to have the cinnamon sugary goodness, just I'd pr probably recommend just making the mixture again, but these are still definitely great. I just had one of them, like I said, but uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys are checking out the new hat. Unicorns, baby. You guys are all unicorns. Just remember that. So. With that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome, magical day. Fucking unicorns. Peace.